Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm talking about whether you should be cupped or flat in your lead wrist at the top of your backswing. So this position up there seems to confuse a lot of people. Well, I will finally clarify it for you and I will give you a way that you can check it so you'll know the exact position. Hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up, then subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips, and please tell all your friends about my tips. There's a lot of other people out there that need help too. So the amount of cupping at the top of the back swing seems to be an area of the swing that creates a lot of confusion. All right, some people want it flat, some people want it slightly cupped, some people are more cupped or over cupped at the top. All right, so hopefully I can simplify it for you so you know exactly what you're trying to do. For me, I teach a neutral grip. That is a two knuckle grip position when you do your grip, okay? Fingers of your bottom wrapped on. All right, I've got a tip on the neutral grip over here. If you wanna learn that, just click on there. You can watch that video of how to do the neutral grip. I show it exactly, step by step by step from the top view. Now, when I do that grip, I'm in a two knuckle position. Then as I hit the top of the backswing, there is a slight cupping here. And the leading edge right here is on the same angle as my forearm. That is the position I am looking for. Because from there, I don't need any other flaws or compensations in my swing to hit straight shots. All right, so I know different people wanna do different things. I am telling you, you do a two knuckle grip, slight cupping at the top, you will hit it dead straight. All right, so that is more of what I'm after. I don't like flaws or compensations in your swing. I want you to, you know, hit it pretty much dead straight all the time, hit it a long way, and not have to practice all the time. So you start doing other compensations, you now have to practice a lot. People lead busy lives, they don't practice very much. So, you know, if you have to time all these flaws exactly right, you will never get this. Just keep it simple, okay? So here is how you can check the amount of cupping at the top, and it is slight, all right? So it is relative to your grip position. This is how you check it. All you gotta do, right here. So I'm gonna talk a neutral grip because this is what I teach. So right here, I grip on two knuckles. So when I look down, I see two knuckles right here. Okay, I put the club in my fingers and then I wrap it on top. So this to me would be a neutral grip. Now, all you're gonna do, you're gonna go like this and you're gonna hinge the club up. See, I'm not breaking my arms, I'm just doing it in my wrists. I'm gonna hinge the club like I'm gonna hit my nose. So right here, okay, right there. Now, when I do that, there is a slight angle right here there's a slight angle in my wrist relative to the two knuckle grip position. So right here, like that, I hinge it up. There is a slight angle there. Now, if I take that and I work it back to the top, that is the same angle as this. So that is why I want you to have a slight cupping at the top of the backswing. So if you went like this, let's say you did a two knuckle position, okay? And then at the very top, it was a little bowed or too straight. You had to manipulate the golf club to hit that position. Because if I go like this and I hinge it to the top, there would be a slight angle right there. Okay, now if you set it in motion, that angle doesn't look, you know, extreme. It looks just almost flat. All right, and there are tons and tons of pros that have a slight cupping in that wrist. All you gotta do, take a ruler, pick out your favorite pro, put it on the arm, and you will see that pro after pro after pro has a slight cupping. Some are bowed, 
some, like a Dustin Johnson, is severely bowed. When you do a severely bowed position at the top, right here, see what happens to the face? The leading edge is level to the ground. Since teaching, <laughs> since 1991, <laughs> I have seen that position quite a few times. And the people who do that position are junior golfers or people that are very weak in their lead arm. So what happens is they end up pulling the golf club back with their stronger arm. When they do that, they bow the wrist. Right here, they go like this and they bow the wrist, right there. Now, if the average person did that, they would literally hook every single shot. That's why Dustin Johnson, when he comes through impact, you can see he's really cleared his hips to be able to square that club face with that grip position or that wrist position. So that to me would be extremely bowed at the top. I would not recommend that. Because again, if you do a two knuckle position here, you have an angle. So there should be a slight angle at the top right there. All right, so we also have a, you know, overcupped wrist at the top. That is caused because, and let me just explain it first. So right here, my wrist doesn't really bend any more than that. That's it. So you can see people even more with more cupping, but the position would look like this, severely cupped and the leading edge would be more down towards the ground at the top. So that would be an open face. Now that happens typically because people are holding the club too much in the fingers of the top hand. When the butt is in the, or the grip is in the uh, fingers, you're allowing the wrist to rotate like this. It can overcup. All right, typically you're gonna have a long thumb here, meaning a gap right there. If you do that, it's real easy to overcup at the top. That's another reason why you wanna do the two knuckle neutral grip that I teach. Because I have the club running across your palm. It's almost impossible to overcup too much at the top if you do that. All right, so again, there's different positions at the top. I promote a neutral grip for many reasons. I don't want you to have to practice too much. If you get a neutral position here, you can hinge it at the top, be slightly cupped up there with the face dead square. All right? I don't like manipulation of the club face. You start doing that, game becomes a lot harder. I just want you hitting it nice and straight with minimal practice. All right, so how are we gonna do that? Well, we gotta do our neutral grip, two knuckles. When you do a two knuckle grip, you will see a slight angle right here. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna hinge it up. See, right there, there is a slight angle. Now, if I move that to the top, that is how much cupping I need. So I'll do it from here. This is all you gotta do. Two knuckle grip position right here. Hinge it up. You'll see the angle right there. Now, you just take that, you bring it to the top, right there, and you will see a slight cupping there. It's not severe, and it's not bowed, all right? And I know <laughs> different teachers te teach different things. That is what I teach. Because like I said, I want you hitting it pretty dead straight, you know, and without having to practice that much. So hopefully this tip has clarified what position you want to be at the top, Start working on that. Do the neutral grip first. All right, so go over here. You'll see the video I did on the neutral grip. I shot it from my perspective, showing you exactly how to do it. So do the neutral grip, get used to that. Then just hinge it up like that and then set the top and you will see the face will be square. You'll have the slight cupping and then you don't have to sit there guessing. Oh, you know, I gotta, you know, somebody said that. No, it's, like, it's not that difficult, you know? Just make this stuff simple. Everybody keeps doing all this, you know, making everything complicated. Nobody ever gets anywhere. Make it simple, then you'll start to improve. And <laughs> obviously, 
you'll play great golf. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.